So Dave, uh, nil all half time, then really seemed to, to turn it on in that second half and uh, I run think away with the win. We, we did, I mean, I think we might work hard in the first half and put out any real results. Um, we went a little bit too long early and we got, got caught trying to play things over the top. First time in probably the uh, best part of a month that we've actually we tried to play through a press and continue to work at it. And, yeah, we struggled, um, but we had enough belief in ourselves to go and do it. And I think at the end, we managed to break them down. And they ran out of legs and the amount of hard work they did. I mean, their midfield worked so hard to close. And we just managed to break through it. We changed the system today to try and counteract a little bit what they were doing. And, we got a result, which is positive because we haven't been getting results for a while. So do you feel that that first 45 was kind of setting the foundation of wearing down the opponent? Well, I think we, we had to have where to go and back ourselves because we've been sitting back, we haven't been taking the game, it seems. And the other thing is we've been giving away. We gave it away way too much in the first 25, 30 minutes. We're lucky, they should have scored two or three. I mean, so we could have as well because silly trying to play two square across the back. I think the second half, we talked about at half time, was playing into Muzzer and Jaden, and Jaden made a huge difference. I mean, we don't realise how much we've missed Jaden, and you can see today, he was one of the guys that just drove us so well. That's, that's the difference that happens. They seem to do a really good job playing those balls in behind the fullbacks to get crosses into today. Was that well, a focus? Well, we played a we, we, we played two wide men with the idea of just coming from deeper, and Nicky and Walshie and even Pacey when we put him there, they got good speed. We got Riley in behind longer it went, he got more confidence back, so I think my well, two fullbacks today were both brilliant. I mean, Ruiz, that's his position. We played him in about nine different positions to fill holes where the fullback is. His quality. Yeah. And uh, Matty Sanders obviously had a, a nightmare against this team last yeah, time, but I mean, two uh, goals and an assist. Well, I think mean, the, the, the little set play short when we talked about half time changing the corners up, but the second goal, I mean, we could have had three or four and we went because we got some good, decent stuff in it. Matty's worked hard. I mean, Matty's the team man, he worked hard. And, and he knows himself that he's probably been worrying too much of everybody else than himself. So the day was all about trying to get back to what he does much better. And I suppose just finally, can you, I suppose, build off this result? A couple of a tough weeks. Was this the response you were looking for today? Oh, this is obviously the response because we've been very poor. I mean, we were exceedingly poor against King, but there was no doubt about it. We didn't turn up. Tonight it was, was more about winning your individual battles and then can we build from there and get some confidence and start taking some risks. So, Hopefully, I mean, I'll be honest, all week has been about 1v1 battles. Train, training has just been man on man, squeeze, push, get in each other's spaces, play out of it. And there'll be another week of that. These guys we work hard on the track, we'll do another three nights. We've got Sunday games, we'll probably do a fourth and just go through that. Well, thanks, Dave. All right, Lino, 3-0 uh, defeat at the end of the day. Pretty good first half, but just fell away in the second there. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was it was it was a very good first half, but, but we, we still we still looked behind the eight ball most of the day. We, we we pressed them a little bit in the first half, and we got snatched a few balls here and there, but but uh, worked really hard. And I, I love it when the guys are, are in that frame of mind and they're defending really well and all that sort of thing, and they're attacking. And, and we look we look we look like we could score. They look like they could score, and in the second half they switched it on a bit, and, and we got. Um, we lost it in a few areas and, and guys started to get a bit tired and that sort of thing. We've uh, Shane out this week and, and a couple of guys carrying a few niggles and we're not that good but we can counter that sort of thing. Do you think that the heavy, bit of a heavy pitch probably contributed to the fatigue as well given you haven't played so many games in the last couple of months? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, um, we, we've been training very hard and the intensity is quite high. You're probably right when you're, um, when you're chasing really fast people, you, you, your fatigue gets hit, you, <laughs> hits you pretty quick. So, yeah, it may have been something to do with it, but, uh, but it was quite a heavy pitch. Yeah. Slightly different setup in the first half. We're now in an exam, I believe, just uh, a couple up top doing a slightly different run. Yeah, having exams on a Saturday, yeah, with that poor boy feel. But, um, and, then, and then when you come here, we, we weren't expecting a lot. I mean, can you imagine? doing all that all day and the stress of an exam and happening coming here and expected to play as well so so the expectations weren't that great from us but um, to his credit he, he was ringing up to call the game asking asking things and that sort of thing so, so yeah I, I feel for him I feel for all the people doing exams this time of year and, and, and playing and soccer and so yeah. Where do you think you need to improve the most based off that performance? Um, Probably the talking a little bit. We, we, we dropped our head after that first goal. Uh, it may not look like that, Matt, but, but then the, the things that we were doing right in the first half started to be wrong in the second half. And um, both our fullbacks 
looked like they tired a little bit. Uh, uh, Macca Hancock's on one wing who, who had a really good game. He, he tied in the second half. And, and the things where we were covering guys, the fullbacks had two coming at him, whereas in the first half it was just one person. So, so we, we've, obviously we've got to get some fitness up. But um, and I, I don't totally believe that's the sole thing either. I just think the heavy ground really against fast people is going to catch out. Seem to be a few people losing their footing out there throughout the game today. How, how tough is that to try, I guess, negotiate? Because it just seemed to create a bunch of wildcard situations yeah, throughout the game. I'm, I'm hoping it wasn't through the wrong footwear. I would imagine that um, the guys had, had had the right footwear on. But but um, I guess uh, a lot of it too is, is the guys that weren't to work that hard. That they're probably going a little bit too quick. But but um, yeah, not much you can do from the sideline as far as footwear goes. They're in charge of that. But but uh, happy with the intensity, happy with the endeavour, but um, fell away quite, quite quickly towards the end. Sure. You got any Rob or just want to throw one separately? Oh, you keep going mate at the moment. Alright, we'll think of another one. Uh, looking forward, you've got a, a few home games now coming up. Uh, how much of a task is it to make this a real fortress for you? Um, well it's quite a task, we've only got four points here this year and, and, and we've got quite a few away. So, so saying that, it's, it's, it's not like that it isn't a fortress, but. Uh, but we're um, also a little bit light on the numbers as, as far as the whole club goes, really, and we, we really need to, to start focusing on that for next year. But, um, uh, yeah, but it should be a fortress, but it's such a beautiful ground, it's such a good ground that when clubs come here, they play good football as well. So, so yeah, it was a little bit heavy today, but it was still in good hand and, and uh, good conducive to football. So, yeah, we're not getting the results a bit light here, but we uh, are. Why was Shane Cartwright unavailable today? Uh, he, he was carrying a, a bruised calf and he, he just didn't feel up to it. So, so last night about 9.30 I get this message and saying he can't play, so there we go, we changed the whole team around. Okay, hopefully <laughs> back next week then, not a long term uh, one. Yeah if, I, yeah, if I don't want him to properly fix his deal, I don't know how to say that without... Uh, if, I, if I feel like it, yeah, yeah basically.